The Siachen Glacier is a glacier located in the eastern Karakoram Range in the Himalayas at about 35.421226 degrees north 77.109540 degrees east, 35.421226, 77.109540, just northeast of the point NJ9842 where the line of control between India and Pakistan ends. At 76 kilometers 47 miles long, it is the longest glacier in the Karakoram and second longest in the world's nonpolar areas. It falls from an altitude of 5,753 meters (18,875 feet) above sea level at its head at Indira Kal on the China border down to 3,620 meters (11,875 feet) at its terminus. The entire Siachen Glacier, with all major passes, is currently under the administration of India since 1984. Pakistan controls the region west of Saltoro Ridge, far away from the glacier, with Pakistani posts located 3,000 feet below more than 100 Indian posts on Saltoro Ridge. The Siachen Glacier lies immediately south of the Great Drainage Divide that separates the Eurasian Plate from the Indian subcontinent in the extensively glaciated portion of the Karakoram, sometimes called the Third Pole. The glacier lies between the Saltoro Ridge immediately to the west and the main Karakoram Range to the east. The Saltoro Ridge originates in the north from the Sia Kangri Peak on the China border in the Karakoram Range. The crest of the Saltoro Ridge S altitudes range from 5450 to 7720 meters, 17880 to 25330 feet. The major passes on this ridge are, from north to south, Siala at 5,589 meters (18,336 feet), Bilafondla at 5,450 meters (17,880 feet), and Gongla at 5,689 meters (18,665 feet). The average winter snowfall is more than 1,000 centimeters (35 feet), and temperatures can dip to minus 50 degrees Celsius (minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit). Including all tributary glaciers, the Siachen Glacier system covers about 700 square kilometers (270 square miles). Topic Etymology. Topic Sia in the Balti language refers to the rose family plant widely dispersed in the region. Chun refers to any object found in abundance. Thus the name Siachen refers to a land with an abundance of roses. The naming of the glacier itself, or at least its currency, is attributed to Tom Longstaff. Topic. Dispute Topic. Both India and Pakistan claim sovereignty over the entire Siachen region. U.S. and Pakistani maps in the 1970s and 1980s consistently showed a dotted line from NJ9842, the northernmost demarcated point of the India-Pakistan ceasefire line, also known as the line of control, to the Karakoram Pass, which India believed to be a cartographic error and in violation of the Shimla Agreement. In 1984, India launched Operation Meghdoot, a military operation that gave India control over all of the Siachen Glacier, including its tributaries. Between 1984 and 1999, frequent skirmishes took place between India and Pakistan. Indian troops under Operation Meghdoot pre-empted Pakistan's Operation Ababil by just one day to occupy most of the dominating heights on Saltoro Ridge to the west of Siachen Glacier. However, more soldiers have died from the harsh weather conditions in the region than from combat. Pakistan lost 353 soldiers in various operations recorded between 2003 and 2010 near Siachen, including 140 Pakistani personnel killed in 2012 Gayari sector avalanche. Between January 2012 and July 2015, 33 Indian soldiers lost their lives due to adverse weather. In December 2015, Indian Union Minister of State for Defence Rao Inderjit Singh said in a written reply in the Lok Sabha that a total of 869 army personnel have lost their lives on the Siachen Glacier due to climatic conditions and environmental and other factors till date since the army launched Operation Meghdoot in 1984. Both India and Pakistan continue to deploy thousands of troops in the vicinity of Siachen and attempts to demilitarise the region have been so far unsuccessful. 
Prior to 1984, neither country had any military forces in this area. Aside from the Indian and Pakistani military presence, the glacier region is unpopulated. The nearest civilian settlement is the village of Warshi, 10 miles downstream from the Indian base camp. The region is also extremely remote, with limited road connectivity. On the Indian side, roads go only as far as the military base camp at Jingralma at 35.1663 degrees north 77.2162 degrees east, 35.1663, 77.2162, 72 km from the head of the glacier. The Indian Army has developed various means to reach the Siachen region, including the Manali Lay Karting La Siachen route. In 2012, Chief of Army Staff of the Indian Army General Bikram Singh said that the Indian Army should stay in the region for strategic advantages, and because a lot of blood has been shed by Indian armed personnel for Siachen. According to the present ground positions, relatively stable for over a decade, India maintains control over all of the 76 kilometers 47 miles long Siachen Glacier and all of its tributary glaciers, as well as all the main passes and heights of the Saltoro Ridge immediately west of the glacier, including Siala, Bailafondla, Gongla, Yarmala 6, meters, and Chulingla 5, meters. Pakistan controls the glacial valleys immediately west of the Saltoro Ridge. According to Time magazine, India gained over 1,000 square miles 3,000 square kilometers in territory because of its 1980s military operations in Siachen. In February 2016, Indian Defence Minister Manohar Parikar stated in Parliament that India will not vacate Siachen as there is trust deficit with Pakistan and also said that 915 people have lost their lives in Siachen since Operation Meghdoot in 1984. As per official records, only 220 Indian soldiers have been killed by enemy bullets since 1984 in Siachen area. India has categorically stated that India will not pull its army from Siachen until the 110 km long AGPL is first authenticated, delineated and then demarcated. The 1949 Karachi Agreement only carefully delineated the line of separation to point NJ9842, after which, the agreement states that the line of separation would continue thence north to the glaciers. According to the Indian stance, the line of separation should continue roughly northwards along the Saltoro Range, to the west of the Siachen Glacier beyond NJ9842. International boundary lines that follow mountain ranges often do so by following the watershed drainage divide, such as that of the Saltoro Range. The 1972 Simla Agreement made no change to the 1949 line of control in this northernmost sector. Drainage Topic. The glacier's melting waters are the main source of the Nubra River in the Indian region of Ladakh, which drains into the Shayak River. The Shayak in turn joins the 3,000-kilometer-long Indus River which flows through Pakistan. Thus, the glacier is a major source of the Indus and feeds the largest irrigation system in the world. Topic. Environmental issues Topic. The glacier was uninhabited before 1984, and the presence of thousands of troops since then has introduced pollution and melting on the glacier. To support the troops, glacial ice has been cut and melted with chemicals, dumping of non-biodegradable waste in large quantities and the use of arms and ammunition have considerably affected the ecosystem of the region. Glacial retreat Preliminary findings of a survey by Pakistan Meteorological Department in 2007 revealed that the Siachen Glacier has been retreating for the past 30 years and is melting at an alarming rate. The study of satellite images of the glacier showed that the glacier is retreating at a rate of about 110 meters a year and that the glacier size has decreased by almost 35%. In an 11-year period, the glacier had receded nearly 800 meters, and in 17 years about 1,700 meters. It is predicted that the glaciers of the Siachen region will be reduced to about one-fifth of their 2011 size by 2035. In the 29-year period 1929-1958, well before the military occupation, the glacial retreat was recorded to be about 914 meters. One of the reasons cited for the recent glacial retreat is chemical blasting, done for constructing camps and posts. 
In 2001 India laid oil pipelines about 250 km long inside the glacier to supply kerosene and aviation fuel to the outposts from base camps. As of 2007, the temperature rise at Siachen was estimated at 0.2 degrees Celsius annually, causing melting, avalanches, and crevasses in the glacier. Waste dumping The waste produced by the troops stationed there is dumped in the crevasses of the glacier. Mountaineers who visited the area while on climbing expeditions witnessed large amount of garbage, empty ammunition shells, parachutes etc. dumped on the glacier, that neither decomposes nor can be burned because of the extreme climatic conditions. About 1,000 kg of waste is produced and dumped in glacial crevasses daily by the Indian forces. The Indian Army is said to have planned a green Siachen, clean Siachen. Campaign to airlift the garbage from the glacier, and to use biodigesters for biodegradable waste in the absence of oxygen and freezing temperatures. Almost 40% 40% of the waste left at the glacier is of plastic and metal composition, including toxins such as cobalt, cadmium and chromium that eventually affect the water of the Shayak River which ultimately enters the Indus River near Skardu. The Indus is used for drinking and irrigation. Research is being done by scientists of the Energy and Resources Institute, to find ways for successfully disposing the garbage generated at the glacier using scientific means. Some scientists of the Defense Research and Development Organization who went on an expedition to Antarctica are also working to produce a bacterium that can thrive in extreme weather conditions and can be helpful in decomposing the biodegradable waste naturally. Fauna and flora. The flora and fauna of the Siachen region are also affected by the huge military presence. The region is home to rare species including snow leopard, brown bear and ibex that are at risk because of the military presence. <inaudible> Border conflict the Glaciers region is the highest battleground on Earth, where Pakistan and India have fought intermittently since April 1984. Both countries maintain a permanent military presence in the region at a height of over 6,000 metres Both India and Pakistan have wished to disengage from the costly military outposts. However, after the Pakistani incursions during the Kargil War in 1999, India abandoned plans to withdraw from Siachen without official recognition of the current line of control by Pakistan, wary of further Pakistani incursions if they vacate the Siachen glacier posts without such recognition. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh became the first Indian Prime Minister to visit the area, during which he called for a peaceful resolution of the problem. After that present Prime Minister Narendra Modi also visited this place. President of Pakistan Esif Ali Zardari also visited the area during 2012 with Pakistan Army Chief Gen. Ashfaq Parvez Kayani. Both of them showed their commitment to resolve Siachen conflict as early as possible. In the previous year, the President of India, Abdul Kalam became the first head of state to visit the area. Since September 2007, India has opened up limited mountaineering and trekking expeditions to the area. The first group included cadets from Chail Military School, National Defence Academy, National Cadet Corps, Indian Military Academy, Rashtriya Indian Military College and family members of armed forces officers. The expeditions are also meant to show to the international audience that Indian troops hold almost all dominating heights on the Key Saltoro Ridge and to show that Pakistani troops are nowhere near the Siachen Glacier. Ignoring protests from Pakistan, India maintains that it does not need anyone's approval to send trekkers to Siachen, in what it says is essentially its own territory. In addition, the Indian Army's Army Mountaineering Institute functions out of the region. <laughs> Peace Park proposal The idea of declaring the Siachen region a Peace Park was presented by environmentalists and peace activists in part to preserve the ecosystem of the region badly affected by the military presence. 
In September 2003, the governments of India and Pakistan were urged by the participants of Fifth World Parks Congress held at Durban, to establish a peace park in the Siachen region to restore the natural biological system and protect species whose lives are at risk. Italian ecologist Giuliano Tallone terming the ecological life at serious risk, proposed setting up of Siachen Peace Park at the conference. After a proposal of a transboundary peace park was floated, the International Mountaineering and Climbing Federation UIAA and the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN organized a conference at Geneva and invited Indian and Pakistani mountaineers Mandip Singh Swan, Harish Kapadia, Nazir Sabir and Sher Khan. The region was nominated for inclusion in the United Nations World Heritage List as a part of the Karakoram Range, but was deferred by the World Heritage Committee. The area to the east and west of the Siachen region have already been declared national parks, the Karakoram Wildlife Sanctuary in India and the Central Karakoram National Park in Pakistan. Sandia National Laboratories organized conferences where military experts and environmentalists from both India and Pakistan and also from other countries were invited to present joint papers. Kent L. Beringer, a researcher at Cooperative Monitoring Center of Sandia Labs suggested setting up Siachen Science Center, a high-altitude research center where scientists and researchers from both the countries can carry out research activities related to glaciology, geology, atmospheric sciences and other related fields. Topic see also topic Colonel Narendra Kumar NJ9842 Indira Colonel Difdar Baltoro Glacier Saltoro Kangri Sia La Bilafond La Gong La Actual Ground Position Line 2016 Siachen Glacier Avalanche topic References topic topic Further reading topic Myra MacDonald 2008 Heights of Madness, One Woman's Journey in Pursuit of a Secret War, Rupa, New Delhi ISBN 8129112922 the first full account of the Siachen War to be told from the Indian and Pakistani sides. V. R. Raghavan, Siachen, Conflict Without End, Viking, New Delhi, 2002 Time Asia's cover story on Siachen Glacier July 11, 2005, Kunal Verma, Rajiv Williams, The Long Road to Siachen, The Question Why, Rupa & Co., New Delhi, 2010 Analysis, Peace May Return to Siachen, The Washington Times Siachen by Arshad H. Abbasi topic External links topic Video about the conflict in the Siachen area and its consequences Siachen Peace Park Initiative Outside Mag Magazine article about Siachen Battleground BBC News report, Nuclear Rivals in Siachen Talks, 26 May 2005 Confrontation at Siachen, Bharat Rakshak. Archived 7 August 2009 at the Wayback Machine. National Geographic article, Siachen Glacier Tragedy.